So today I want to talk about a uh, law of attraction and why you're not getting what you want in life and just anything. So the law of attraction, you know, was really successful and very popular about 10 years ago. You know, the whole secret came out, all these books came out and a lot of people had great success with it, but I'd say majority of people did not. And I kind of want to talk about why it's not working for you. Um, I have some amazing mentors who like base all their success on this one idea. And it's not less necessary like um, your thoughts that they're talking about, like, oh, law of attraction, think about what you want and you'll have what you want, but more their beingness. Who they're being is really what's drawing them into what they have and what they want. I had a mentor who basically was a money wizard. This guy would just like show up and his business might be in, you know, a little bit of turmoil where they, all of a sudden they need forty, fifty thousand dollars or sixty thousand dollars like that. And this guy would just disappear. Like he'd be like, okay, I'm going to my office, no one interrupt me, give me an hour, and the dude would just completely vanish, you know, and just go away. So anyways, he'd show back up, come out of his office, and boom, magic happened. All of a sudden, a $30,000 deal, a $40,000 deal, a 50, 60, $70,000 deal, just show up. And it was, it was like magic, he wasn't really doing anything. Um, and so one day, basically, I'm driving out to Hollywood with him to uh, film this documentary we were working on. And I'm just like, Martin, I, what the fuck are you doing? Like, like, I've seen this and everyone around you sees this. Like, you just make money manifest out of nowhere. Like, it's just, it happens on a drop of a dime. And he basically told me that it's all about that the law of attraction, like, they kind of teach it incorrectly. They talk about your thoughts, your thoughts, your thoughts, your thoughts, and more What's important is your beingness and basically who you are being and that energy of what you want needs to be what's present. And so many times we think about what we want, like, oh, I want this new car, I want this nice house, I want this relationship. But then like the majority of it goes the opposite direction. Oh, I'm stressed out about my car payment. I'm stressed about this guy. I'm stressed out about this bill and that. Like if you want something, you need to be completely obsessed in your beingness and your thoughts and all encompassing needs to be obsessed in getting that one thing you want. Because think about it, like think about like, oh, I wanna take a trip to China. Uh, I'm telling my mind, I'm sending that signal out to the universe, I wanna take a trip to China, I'm gonna save for it. And then all of a sudden your mind's like, oh no, um, I wanna take a trip to Sweden, you know? And oh no, I wanna take a trip to Alaska. You're sending out these different messages and it's gonna be, confusing what comes back because you are not clear on what you want and your energy is going all over the place so really figure out what exactly it is you want like to a T you know if it's a house figure out the furniture where it's at the address of it the amount of it and become obsessed with that obsess your mind and your beingness with how that would feel of having that be grateful that you have it now and it's got to be an obsession it can't be this five percent of your days focused on Oh, I want this house. I have this house and manifesting that house. And then 95% is you stressing about money because what do you think is going to win there? You know, it's, it's pretty easy. The 95% that's causing stress in your life is going to win. You have to be absolutely obsessed with what you want to get what you want. And it's, it's really just a whole beingness. It's not just your thoughts. You can think and say as many manifestations or not manifestations, but affirmations as you want and it's not going to change shit. It's not like you can sit there and say 10,000 affirmations. You show me a difference in that person who's just doing affirmations. You need to have it be your whole being like literally just all encompassing feeling that from your head to your toes and bringing that energy every single day to what you want, whether it's a hundred million dollars, it's you want to be the best figure skater. I'm thinking about that because that Tanya Harding movie, I kind of want to see. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, just start getting obsessed and everything should be moving you in that direction of that goal. And stop wanting so many damn things and stop trying to resist so many damn things and just focus on that one really thing that you really want. And if you can't and you don't want to, you don't want to put that much energy, just be real with yourself. You don't want that thing that much. And if there's a disconnect and you're not there yet, again, just look back at that. You do not want it that bad yet. And until you convince yourself and do do that work of the beingness, you'll never have it. So while you might have it, it's just going to take a long time. And I'm sure in this society we don't like that. I don't like that. I want things now. So yes, overall, just be obsessed with it. 
with your being and the feeling of having it of whatever it is you want. Don't let anything distract you. Don't let any bill or any hiccup or any fire get in your way of feeling that and being that energy that invokes that and brings that to you. So that's it today.